Welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we are going to make some table favors or these could be thank you gifts. These could be um, stocking stuffers if you're going to a craft fair. Um, these are going to be tea holders, right? They're going to hold some tea. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to pick your tea. And it matters because of the size, right? The measurements. So I'm going in the fall, so I chose Tazo pumpkin spice chai and vanilla caramel chai. You pick your tea. Not all teas, for the record, come in paper sachets. So just keep that in mind as well. So you wanna make sure that the tea you pick comes in these paper bags. Cause if not, well, yeah, you're going to end up with the wrong product. Um, you're going to need a paper cutter or not. I mean, I'm just going to show you what I'm using and what makes things easier. I have some scissors, paper scissors. I have a paper score board, a small one. That's all I need. Um, you're going to need a paper cutter or scissors. I have scissors. I have glue. And I also have double stick tape depending what I'm doing. And I have a rounder. This is a corner rounder, but it's just for looks, not necessary. Then you're going to measure your product. So we're going to do the easy one first. And let me grab my tea to show you how I came up with this measurement. Very scientific. I laid it out on my board and I said, okay, they are one, two, three, four, five, Six inches would work. I'm going with five and a half because I want them close together. And then how tall are they? One, two, three inches and a half tall, but I want to fold over an inch at the bottom. So I measured my T envelopes to be five and a half, the paper, five and a half inches wide and five and a quarter inches long. And you wanna make sure you keep this measurement in mind, especially if you're using directional paper, right? Because you want it in the right direction. Now, I happen to know that the bags that I have here are four by six. And I know they fit because I've already done a bunch of these. I bought these, they didn't fit what I needed them to fit. And so I um, kept the bags. But I was at the Dollar Tree today, and we're gonna see if these bags will work. These are 40 zipper seal bags. These are 3.8 inches by 5.75. So they're just a little smaller. So we will have to cut it tight, you know, smaller if you wanna use this bag. But I use, I'm using these because I'm taking these on a retreat. So I'm gonna make a Christmas one because actually no well maybe is this six inches across let's find out i don't know if it's exactly six inches it is okay we'll use this for the christmas we'll use some a different paper for this one so here's my recommendation i like double-sided paper it's thicker so it's, oh, this is like a card stock for this kind of a project. It's definitely thicker. And when I fold, it's got decoration on both sides. That is what I like. You do you. If you decide you're going to use one side of paper, which arguably is definitely easier to find, then you're going to have to add a little decoration at the bottom. We're going to cut off this little top piece because it's not... Um, necessary and I throw that away I don't keep that little piece so I'm gonna go right I have my arm out here I have my measurements so I know let me move some stuff out of the way vertically I'm going five and a half so that's right here and it measures from on a paper cutter it measures from the cut line so I'll put this away and then we're gonna go five and a quarter, like just over the five mark. 
I think that's a quarter of an inch, right? That's a half. Oh, it's two dashes in. Five and a quarter is right there. And I can make four of these out of one sheet of 12 inch by 12 inch paper. Now, you have to decide what you, what piece you want forward. I want this showing and this to be my little bit. And I'll show you in a second. So, you lay it on your scoreboard. I'm going to go to the one inch mark. And I'm going to draw my line. Just like that. You can go down twice. And for this, this specific little envelope, that's it. That's our score line. It is right here. You can't really see it good on that side, but there's our score line. What you want to do is kind of just give your paper, this is thick paper, so you kind of just want to coax it a little bit. If you go in and just smash it down, oh, I need my bone folder. What's going to happen is it's going to break at the bottom. You're going to get a tear. So I just kind of give it a good zhuzh to kind of convince it that it really wants to fold. And then I just do that, right? Now, the sky is the limit here. Let's say you're doing like a little thank you. I, let's make a thank you gift. We'll put this thank you on the front after we put the T in, maybe. We should put it now. What do you think? Five and a half. What's the center? One, two, three, four, five, one, two and a half. So. If that's our center, nope. Yeah, that looks pretty centered. Right here, okay. So what we'll do, you can use glue or double stick tape. I'll just use some double stick tape. And I'm just centering it, sorry my fingers. It may not be a perfect center, but now you've made a thank you gift for somebody. Hi, Alex. And then we're gonna put our tea in here. I'm not gonna glue this tea down because I'm actually using it in a different pro. Alex, get down, get down, buddy. I'm not gonna glue it down because I'm using it in a different project, but I'm gonna show you how it works. And then I'll show you one for my part. Can you get down, please? Please hold, I gotta get him down. He's down. Now, I want the sticker in the back. These are self-sealing, so I'm turning it over. Typically, I would tape these down, and I'll show you that in a minute. I mean, I guess I could do a little bit here. We'll just do a little tiny touch of it. And I only do this so it holds its place. Ooh. It's nothing of any grand taping. It's just enough to hold it where I want it. And then this slides. Uh, does it? Yeah. This slides right into this box or into this envelope actually. Hold on. I thought I did that wrong. We're just going to take a little zip off of here. I made it a little too tall. There we go. This is why I love working with paper. It's so easy to fix things. Okay. Now it'll go in here nice and easy. Turn it over, stick it in, right? And then I would just seal it, just like that. And that's the gift, Oop, upside down for you. Isn't that so nice and sweet for a little party favor? Leave these on people's tables or whatever. I'm gonna keep this, but I wanna show you what I'm doing for my retreat that I'm headed to. And then we'll do the little book one. All right, so we're gonna take these off of here and I'm gonna put this away because I'm keeping this. So here's the ones I'm taking to my retreat. 
and I made a little sticker. So we're gonna put pumpkin on that side, vanilla caramel on that side, and they're stuck, right? You use Christmas paper, you can give these to your neighbors. I mean, it's so easy, but so thoughtful. I slide this down all the way to the bottom. Pull the sticker off, the self sealy off. And then I make sure it goes down nice and tidy, right? Now, I have a thermal printer for shipping my Etsy stuff. So I made these stickers and they say, leaves are falling, autumn is calling and my name. And then I just put it right here. And now I'm gonna pass these out as table gifts, party favors or whatever at the retreat, I'll hand them out. And if you use a double-sided paper, you get the pretty on the back, it comes around they're all gonna coordinate because they are from the same book, right? So that is one, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now, the other one that we're gonna do is a little more labor intensive, but fun nonetheless. And we are going to use glue, probably, maybe. I'll show you what it's gonna look like. We gotta cut the paper first but they're going to look like this. And it's a little book. And you put your tea in here. And this is what I'm talking about, directional paper. I'm okay that on the inside it's upside down, but. So, first things first, let's get our other, where'd I put it? I lost it, please hold. I found it, okay. So on here, we're gonna go six across. Easy, six across, this is six across. So the next we're gonna do is five this way. And I want my Christmas trees upright. So we're gonna go all the way down here to the five inch line. And that's it for the paper cutter. And that's why I'm saying you don't have to have a paper cutter, guys. Now, I want this on the outside. So I'm gonna mark score on the inside. And I said, okay, I'm gonna go to the three inch mark and I'm gonna do a little, let me show you up here. Cause I don't know how to explain it, but here's the three inch mark. I'm gonna go one tick on that side and one on the up side. I don't know if that's like an eighth of an inch. Maybe. So you want to make sure you're holding it nice. You put it in here and you draw it down the line. And these lines will hold this where it needs to be. And we're going to go that way. And then we're going to turn it. So this is the book binding. This is going to be this bottom piece. And we're going to go to the one and a half inch line. We're gonna score it right there. And that's it on the cut lines. Now this also is some thick paper. So we're gonna just kind of convince it that it wants to fold, right? And we're not gonna go overly crazy with my fold right now. We're gonna do some cutting on here. So if you see all my lines, I wanna cut right on the inside of that doesn't have to be perfect up to the score line and the same thing over here up to the score line now you can use your scissors you oh, I'm gonna leave it on this side and then I'm just gonna go from here to here and throw that piece away I did keep this for a reason. So now we have the makings of our book. We're gonna come up this way here, right? And then down, fold it up there. And then we're gonna make sure our inside folds 
are good now. And you're folding it on either side. So we have a bind, a spine for our tea book. See that? Now we have a spine that will hold and accommodate the thickness of the tea bags. Okay. Now I want to make it look pretty. So I'm taking my rounder and I'll probably use this one. Or actually I'll use this more rounded side. And on the inside here, just putting it in the corner there. In the corner. And then we're gonna do the same up top. And it just gives it that little bit. Now all we have to do is start gluing. So, and then cut our other little piece. We do have one more cut. I have this glue here, multi-purpose adhesive. It works fine. It doesn't seem to be too moist. <laughs> I said moist. Doesn't seem to be too wet, right? For the tea or for this paper. But if you use glue that's too watery, you're gonna end up, um, with buckled fat, uh, paper. It's gonna like, it's not gonna be pretty. Let's put it that way. Got that there. And you wanna always just, oops, sorry. Give it a good rub with your bone folder. And this, at this point, we kinda want everything nice and tight. And when this dries, I'll clip these corners. And I just put the glue on the side that's the shortest, so I don't have to worry about measuring up the top. Make sure you're lined up. And if you're not, you just cut it after. Now, on the inside, my Christmas trees are upside down, and I'm okay with that. Now, we'll let this dry for a second. And I want to cut um, let's see. And I'm gonna go a little smaller than that and I'll show you actually you don't have a paper cutter but you have a rotary cutter <laughs> this is from the Dollar Tree when they had their rotary cutters out and a little I want a half inch is what I want so watch and that the Dollar Tree also has the cutting mats. So I just did that with the Dollar Tree roll, roll, eh, rotary cutter. And this one here, the white in the back goes up. Okay. Now, I have some of these self-adhesive dots. They are uh, Velcro. These are a little thick, not gonna lie, but we'll make them work. I don't want to waste them. So you need the rough one and the smooth one, right? Rough and smooth. Take one rough one and I just stick it onto the smooth one, right? And then because I have the Christmas tree fabric on the outside, I want the red to be the top. Oops. These are very, very sticky. That's why I'm doing it with it still attached. And then I just do that. I wanna give it a good smush. And then we're going to peel it off the back. And now it's attached. And this was like $3 and you get a thousand pieces and I use the 0.39 inch I think that's the smallest they come so I grabbed those and they were not expensive um, I definitely want to decide how long to make this so we'll go like right here I'm gonna wrap it around give it the fold now I'm gonna trim the back Right, just trim the back off and glue it. 
and I want the glue again on the piece where it's heat, where, um, attaching. If your glue is too watery, I guess you could maybe try to get it drier. I wouldn't know how, but you know. So there we go. We have attached it. It needs to dry still, but we're gonna open that up. We're gonna let this do its thing. It's gonna dry, and this glue dries pretty quickly, which I do enjoy. We're gonna go back into that same corner punch. You want your glue dry. If your glue is not dry, you're gonna get a mess. The paper is just gonna mush. It's not gonna snap like that. This is a We Are Memory Keepers from, I think my niece got it for me at Hobby Lobby. It does the round, a more squared, and then a more squoval corner. I love this thing. All right, put the blade away. We don't need that, we don't need that. And now all we need to do is decide on the front if we wanna put a little something something on the front, which we can. So, let's see what I got in here. Here, I could use one of these thank you stickers from my channel. That says, thank you. And then I can just put it right there. Obviously you can use any sticker that you want, right? That's what it's gonna look like as a little thank you gift. You can put a Christmas sticker if you have any e ephemera now, I would obviously use Christmas tea, but I don't, um, nope, I don't have any. That will slide right in here. You can make these a little wider, but I thought this was fine. Close it. And then you have to make sure your little, and you don't have to Velcro. You can just glue it shut. I mean, I don't see people refilling these but you now have a little book. So we have these two fun little projects that we made. See what I'm saying? This Velcro isn't the best. Let me see if I trim it. What do we think, guys? Maybe that'll work better. There we go. No, doesn't work better. But there we go, there are two little cute thank you gifts, desk gifts, work coworker gifts, little thoughtful things to give out for Christmas, fall, whenever. All right, I hope that was as easy for you as I think it is and you have a fantastic day, bye.